All right, hey everybody, my name is Jake Wasserman from Meta, and on behalf of UNC Charmaine, we'll be talking about the, a project that um, we started over the last, I don't know, six months or a year called the Curated Major Map Features Library. Um, just a quick overview. I'll give kind of an introduction and motivation, then UNC will take over and talk about what we mean by major map features and what features are included here, and then Charmaine will talk about actually how this thing gets used, how we use it for QA, uh, give us an example. So, um, <clears throat> basically what the Curated Major Map Features Library is, is a way of eliminating vandalism um, and preventing it from prominent OSM features and sort of preventing OSM, uh, preventing vandalism and errors from showing up in production, making sure that they are safe to display. Um, so it consists of three components that um, we'll go into some detail on. The first is <clears throat> a data set of OSM elements, so nodes, ways, and relations, with manually reviewed tags and other properties that we expect to match the planet at all times. Um, there's a series of pipelines that run that compare planet or, or any data set, uh, any OSM planet, to the library and it will notify us or alert us of any discrepancies that exist. And then finally there's a process which can take those sort of differences or discrepancies and um, surface them to manual reviewers who can decide if these are vandalism, if they're errors or something needs to change. This runs uh, pretty much every day against the latest OSM as part of our daylight map distribution process. Um, and the idea here is to include generally sort of stable features uh, within OSM, so things like major cities, polygons of large water features, landmarks, things like that. So just to kind of jump into an example, um, what the library consists of is essentially a JSON file that has these very specific elements and tags, like I said, that we expect to match the map. Um, so if you look on the right, this is exactly what it looks like for New York City. Um, kind of highlighting this like famous vandalism incident that happened with OSM where New York City was renamed. And I sort of remember when this happened, there were like directors who reached out to our team and were like, how do we make sure this never happens on our map? And you know, we're like, oh my god, so this is kind of a project that we came up with to solve that. So uh, if you look up here on the right, what this entry says is basically at all times in OSM, I expect there to be a node with that ID and it is expected to have these tags. Um, the population, you can see we'll talk a little bit about can vary. There's a location in there, it has to roughly be in there. But if anyone goes into OSM at any time and changes these things, it will essentially alert us. And the idea is if it gets deleted, uh, it will notify us if any tags are modified or deleted, uh, or if the feature moves, and there's some other things there. I often describe this as we're just like unit testing the map for major map features. And it um, turns out this is a great way to prevent it's kind of this, this kind of like major forms of vandalism. So our goals here are to include major prominent features, things that can avoid embarrassing headlines and directors reaching out to our team and maybe threatening to fire us or something. Um, you know, mostly stable features. So obviously somebody could really like go in and delete the New York City node and kind of recreate it with a new ID and that would cause problems here. But in general, these features are pretty stable. Um, like, I know the New York City node has existed there for 10 years, so I think it's pretty safe to say it's not going to change. Um, sort of a small number of total features, something around tens of thousands. The idea here is to have very high signal to noise ratio, so at any given time, even though maybe we've got 20,000 things, there's really an order of a handful of things that get flagged, and generally when it calls these out, they're like a big deal that we need to really look at. <clears throat> so. Uh, what this really does is it significantly reduces the QA effort that goes on before we finally can launch a map and say it's safe for production, and generally lets us rest a lot easier before each new map release. Uh, so with that, I will turn it over to you. All right. Um, I'm going to talk about a typical and logbook feature included in the library. Um, so currently, the library includes three major feature types, uh, cities, water features, and local landmark features. And for cities, it mostly referring to global mega cities that are cities with OSM tag placed as eco-cities uh, or town and with population greater than 2 million. Um, for US, we also include cities that has population less than 2 million, like for example, Fremont in California. Um, for our water features, the, they're mostly inland water features, um, just like the Lake Biwa here. Um, it's also global water features. And for our landmark features, it's currently we only have US landmark, um, and it's like it could be um, tourism spots or local like significant significant landmarks like Alcatraz Islands, uh, Painted Ladies in San Francisco. 
Um, so for each feature type, um, uh, the data came along with the name labels, uh, important attributes, as well as the geometries. For example, for the major city here, it came with the geometry type as point, and has name in multiple language, uh, has place tag, population tag, admin level tag, capital tag, which are the important attributes for, for cities. And for water features, it, the polygon type uh, is a bounding box, the geometry type is a bounding box polygon uh, for water features, and came with name in different language, um, nature tag, water tag, and other definitive tagging. And for US landmarks, um, so this one, it varies in terms of geometry type and tagging. Um, for, it, for some landmarks, it came with geometry type as point, uh, but some other landmarks, it's a bounding box polygon. And of course, it came with name in multiple language. Um, and for the tagging, it, we're trying to collect those key information about these landmark features, so it varies. It could have address, building, amenities, or some other tag that are um, are providing key information about this landmark. So, um, for language, um, so we for each feature that including the, in this library, we not only just have the default name and the English name, we also have non-English name. So far, we select the most frequently called language in MetaMap service to include in the library. And we work with our localization team very closely to uh, verify and, re and review like, the name in each language to ensure the translation is correct and proper. So now let's dive in a couple examples. Um, the first one is Mega City London. Um, so as Jake mentioned, this library is a, is a JSON file. So each data, each feature will be stored as a JSON object. And if the JSON object will have the metadata like awesome type, awesome ID, the tags, um, the geometry in WKD format, um, which is a point for London here, uh, we attach the category to indicate what feature type it is. Um, and for the taggings, as you um, since it's a mega city, so it, including the capital tag, the admin level tag, the uh, place tag, population tag. Um, and names also uh, be presented in different language. So for a certain language, we also include a various form of the names. Um, for example, the, the name ZH here. Uh, on OSM, currently is in traditional Chinese character. But in our library, including both the traditional one and the simplified ones, the reason is um, both values of this name tag are commonly used and, and they're appropriate. Um, and we also noticed the pattern on OSM that it, for any language that has multiple form of, uh, multiple written form of the name, uh, it inclined to, it's inclined to be changed frequently. So that's why we included both format here, and when we run the integrity chat, uh, it would pass integrity chat. Another example about a uh, certain name tag including multiple, multiple form of the value. So this one is uh, Mega City San Francisco. Uh, for the Vietnamese name tag here, we include in both the English uh, character and the Vietnamese character. Even though all of them currently is presented uh, in Vietnamese character. The reason we do that is um, when this character had been used on OSM, but our localization team confirmed that the English word version of it is most popularly used by local users to represent the city San Francisco. So we're including both form here, and when we run the integrity chat, it will pass. Um, the other thing I want to point out, um, I think Jay also mentioned earlier about her population. So you can see currently on OSM, the population number is different from what we have in the library. Um, it's because we applied the 10% threshold, which means that the difference, if the difference between the number in our library and OSM are within 10%, um, that, that it would pass the integrity chat until it go above 10% range. Okay. So here's an example about uh, inland water body. So this is a big lake in Canada. Similar to Megacity, we also include metadata like OSM type, OSM IDs, uh, tags, the WKT, uh, the geometry in WKT format. It's the bounding box polygon here for the lake. 
and we attach the category to indicate this inline water feature. And for landmark, uh, this is example for landmark feature, San Francisco City Hall. Um, similar to water feature and mega city, we have the OSM type ID text, uh, the geometry and the category. And for the text, um, it, it varies depend, and it depends on which landmark. So I also attach another example about the landmark Painted Lady. Compare this to the, the San Francisco City Hall, um, these are the key information to represent this landmark, so we include it in the library. Whereas the paint for the Painted Lady, these are um, the key information to represent the Painted Lady as a landmark. And you can see that the WKT are different here. Like it's a point for Painted Lady, why it's a polygon for San Francisco City Hall. So this is what's included in the library. I will pass to Xiaoming to go over how we use the library for QA. Thanks, Yinzi. Um, so yeah, to ensure that the prominent map features are correct and safe to display, we created a vandalism detection pipeline. So first, we compare an OSM planet file with the library, and then we run these three checks, tag, geometry, and uncheck name check, which, you know, I will talk about in a few slides. Um, and then it will output success and failure results. So once we have that result, um, we review the failures manually if any discrepancies are vandalism or incorrect, and then we fix them in live OSM. Um, but if there's new uh, good update from OSM, then we update the library. So now I'll go into the details of like what the checks are. Uh, so the first check is uh, tag check. So this check basically compares the tags we have in the library and the features on the latest OSM. So for example, uh, General Core failed the tag check and it detected that the place equals city um, was removed from the OSM dataset. So this tag removal suppresses the label rendering on our maps. So it is important for us to you know, get the alert and fix it in OSM ASAP. So the next check we have here is geometry check. Um, so it flags when there's a significant, differ significant difference between the curated library and OSM. So there are two types of geometry checks with uh, thresholds so that uh, the geometries can change day to day, but significant changes will raise a flag. So for polygons, we have a bounding box check that has an absolute tolerance of one mile and a relative tolerance of 10%. Here on the left, in the picture on the left, um, as you guys could see that Lake Oral and OSM uh, grew larger, therefore it, fl it, it was flat. So we checked out the failure and saw that it was a good change. Um, so we updated our library with a new bounding box. For points, uh, we have geometric distance check where it detects if the point uh, moves at, 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 at a tolerance of one mile. So on the right, here's an example of like, uh, the Hetchy uh, place label. Um, that failed a uh, geometry distance because it moved uh, 37 miles away. So we analyzed this error and saw that the label uh, is, is in a valid location, therefore we updated our library, which means that we need to also update our algorithm and also like, improve our um, way of like checking these. So the last check that we have here is unchecked name check. Sorry for the name, but it, it, it will make sense, I promise. Um, so a prominent feature gets flagged when a new name in a different language is added in OSM, and it's currently not in the library. So these new names added uh, will show up on our maps. Um, so we want a flagging system to detect this. Um, so here's an example of uh, Izmir place label, where we only have these sets of language in the library on the um, left. Um, and then on, on OSM, you know, user added more languages. Um, so for this case, we would send it to the lo our localization team to have them review, um, you know, because it's in foreign language, we can't just like um, uh, validate it with our own, like we need our, our localization team to uh, just review it. And then add it in our curated uh, library. So the pipeline runs every day, um, and it checks tags, names, and geometries, like what you did, uh, Jake mentioned, um, when it changes in OSM, and then we, we get alerted from that. Um, so here's an example of a failed result that we saw a few months ago, where a version of uh, 54 Wuhan place label was flagged uh, because the name, English, and Chinese name was removed. 
So as you can see on the screenshot on the top um, on our map, it, the label disappeared uh, because of the name removal. Uh, so we needed to check this in OSM ASAP and just fix it and then apply it on our maps. So yeah, in summary, um, you know, curated features library captures validated uh, tags and attributes of prominent map features. Uh, we use it to compare with uh, latest OSM uh, and then to detect any discrepancies of tags and geometry checks. And then we also use this to prevent vandalism of major cities, water fe features, and US landmarks. And then the next thing for us to do is, um, like I said, uh, improve the threshold of the checks and then continue to expand the library in terms of feature types and languages.